Where is the on duty jailer? We do not have any jailers. However, we do have corrections officers. Our corrections officers are professionally trained and experienced in offender management, and therefore, not jailers. Please forgive me. I have forgotten how much more important and dangerous their job is to mine. I am constantly reminded by the jail that in any year now, there can be an attack on a jailer, even though the inmates are locked up 24 hours a day. Surely, I am thankful to have spent my career on the safe streets and patrol and not in this extremely dangerous jail environment. Where is the on-duty corrections officer? So now that you understand that, the jailers, I mean, corrections officers, have called in sick today. And if you have a prisoner to book, then... I do not have any prisoner to book, as this is the last place I can bring someone should I have the unfortunate situation to mandatory make an arrest. I would rather stick a hot poker in my eye than bring a prisoner here for booking. I sense a tinge of sarcasm. Have you not yet learned that any tone of sarcasm against my jail, I mean, the jail, is not allowed? Are you here again to diss the jail and score? Certainly, I will diss the jail, the jailers, or score. However, I did talk to a jailer, I mean, a corrections officer, about score and how it may not be the best solution for our prisoner booking problems. I am warning you that you had think twice about speaking out against score. Score is my baby. I do not have any problem with score. I have blindly accepted that the solution to our booking problem is to create a larger problem to ensure government moves inefficiently consisting of hiring as many incompetent people to run a larger system without anyone having the experience or ability to manage it. This is in keeping with the way we have always done things, so there is no problem. However, I do feel that some ideas, such as the jail inmate customer satisfaction survey, was stupid. The inmate survey was not my idea. You are thinking of someone else. Yes, you are right. I was thinking of my canoe on the lake and was reminded of someone else. But, the administration does come up with some outlandish ideas. Do you realize that you are also administration? You were right again. I am a fully commissioned law enforcement officer, a commander, with the authority to enforce local, state, and federal laws. You, on the other hand, only think you are a police commander, but you have no experience, training, education, or authority in enforcing any laws at all. I will save that complaint against you for another day. But why can't you understand the benefits of SCORE? Don't you understand how it will increase our booking situation and make me look good? I don't think anything can make you look good. But I'd say that SCORE is about as good idea as officers deciding to play in a ball game while on duty instead of performing the required duties of a public safety officer. You still don't get it. Score will solve all booking problems and I will be famous. By the time anyone realizes that I've beat the system, I'll be retired. Surely, something as simply as booking prisoners like in the old days, would be a better solution. Now we will have to deal with dozens more jailer, I mean corrections officers, more restrictions, more rules, more policies, and more time off the street. I foresee having to be told to make appointments to book a prisoner. Thankfully, retirement is just on the horizon, if I could afford it. Speaking of appointments for booking, that is a good idea. I think I will take credit for that idea. And for your knowledge, I have informed the jail that anyone that breathes a negative word, creates an anonymous video, cracks a wise-ass joke, or notifies any news media about score, will be hunted, investigated, disciplined prosecuted and persecuted to the fullest extent of my power, I mean, the department power. Well, in that case, I fully support SCORE. I understand that my freedom of speech is curtailed to not being allowed to speak the truth about a subject if it were to bring negative light to a subject to the department or you. I do not want to be tangled in yet another career-long fiasco of comments and inappropriate conduct I have been involved in. So. I wish you well in your new employment and wish it were here faster. Will you be taking your sidekick with you? I do not know what you are talking about. If you are implying that two girls having coffee on an hourly basis, sharing locker room time together, walking seemingly extra close to each other, then I do not know what you are talking about. You are right. 
I am mistaken again. After all, I should know a thing or two about inappropriate relationships while on duty with co-workers. Looking back on it, I should have avoided hand-holding, lip-locking, and sniffing rear ends while on duty. Perhaps if I had engaged in acts on graveyard, such as sex in the back of a patrol car with another officer, or sex in my personal vehicle with a prosecutor, then perhaps I would have been promoted to administration faster. Would you like to check out my canoe? That is disgusting. I don't even like canoes. If this conversation continues, I will have to inform the deputy chief of your sexual harassment. Now that would be fun to watch. I'm sure if any administrator, especially a deputy chief, wanted to talk about inappropriate behavior related to having sex on duty with co-workers or citizens, or making grossly inappropriate comments about women, we would have a great time of comparing stories. Unfortunately, my stories seem to become legends and turn into a public circus that haunt me for a career, where someone else's story is quietly handled and never spoke about. I cannot wait until I can leave for square. You cannot imagine how much effort it has been to blame my bad decisions on someone else, take credit for the work of others, create a position out of thin air that makes as much money as you, create a better position and score, and all this time, try to hide my cankles, I mean, ankles. Laugh now, but I will have the last laugh. Please let me know if you need a right to score. I will happily drive you there. Perhaps, if I can drive the van, I can load it with about 20 other officers that have the same lack of work ethic and moral principles that would be a great fit for SCORE due to their common lack of work ethic. Maybe you can take them all with you.